Earlier this year, we told you about Oakville's Active Transportation Master Plan and the Community Engagement Seminar they held at Queen Elizabeth Community Centre. In 2009, the town updated or uh, created the Active Transportation Master Plan and in 2012, we approved the Switching Gears Transportation Master Plan and a recommendation was to update uh, the cycling and walking network to try and change behavior for um, the citizens of Oakville from driving cars and moving into other modes of transportation. Now that event received a lukewarm reception from those who were in attendance, but at least the town of Oakville is presenting an image of itself that it's trying to make a difference with regards to active transportation. Now the town of Oakville is trying to play catch up with other parts of Halton, like in Burlington here, where they've installed a new bike lane along New Street between Guelph Line and Walkers as part of a pilot project that started in August. And now some residents are beginning to stand up and make their voices heard in the discussion about active transportation. I think the biggest thing we need to we need to get the town's attention on is that cycling is not only a hobby that people do on weekends, that a lot of people, if given the opportunity, would cycle to go train stations or even to work. Um, but because there's no safe space for them to do that, uh, they have no choice but to drive. Um, when we start thinking of cycling more as a mode of transportation and not a hobby that people do on weekends, we'll start to understand that the cycling infrastructure in Oakville is lacking because the main thoroughfares like Spears Road, Trafalgar, they lack the sufficient safe space for cyclists to be able to use. Now while we talk about safety, you may have noticed the white bike in the background. It stands as a memorial for a man who was struck and killed while riding his bike through the intersection at Third Line and Lakeshore in August. We've said that, you know, cycling on Lakeshore is an issue. It, it's the only road, really, that connects the three BIAs, the three business areas. And there's no real safe way for cyclists to cycle from downtown through Kerr and all the way to Bronte. It's a patchwork. Um, I, I think we need to address that if we want people to be using active transportation like cycling. We need to start looking at major thoroughfares, not side streets, is where we can put bike lanes. Now Damoff believes that given a safe opportunity to travel by bike rather than car, more motorists would make the switch, but until the infrastructure improves, that can't happen. Now the town of Oakville is actively trying to improve things as far as cycling goes throughout the town. And they are holding another meeting coming up this fall with regards to their active transportation master plan. And if you'd like more information about that, stay tuned to their Twitter handle and be sure to check in regularly to oakville.ca. Reporting for Halton Insider, I'm Pierce Lang.